So let's talk about Facebook. What's going on team? It's Ricky with TechBit Solutions. I appreciate you guys being so patient with me today. The newborn uh, that we just had just couldn't get to stop crying. So it um, took me a little bit longer to upload this video, but I wanted to make sure that I express and follow up with one of my intentions, right? And one of my intentions was after Facebook reported earnings, it dropped about 25%. I viewed that to be a dip by opportunity. I was going to take a hundred, you know, my intention was to invest $150,000 into Facebook stock. Uh, I wanted to go into it in three different pieces. I first bought with a little bit under $50,000 and my intention was to average up, meaning buy more as it began to indicate signs of a recovery, as it began to simply increase in price, right? Well, we never saw that increase. And just like every trade that we talk about, there has to be some form of risk management. And I said that, well, with $150,000 based off of how much I saw there to be for upside potential, I could potentially make $45,000. But just like we know, every trade comes at some form of risk, some greater than others. And what risk did this come to me as, right? Well, uh, I was willing to risk $5,000 for this trade. Uh, and today my exit was as, you know, the goal was, or the plan was, if it broke below 20, uh, 225, which was about, you know, my, my average purchase price was right around 250. Um, my intention and my plan was to cut losses as we broke below 225. It didn't take Facebook very long for it to break below 225. As you guys could see that it was making lower lows, lower highs. We consolidated around this 230 price point, a pretty significant price level. And we broke right below that. We tried to hold above right 226, 226, 50, and then we just broke below 225. I had to make sure that I held myself accountable and I had to cut losses. Yes. I took a $5,000 loss on my Facebook position. It sucks, but again, it takes money to make money, right? And do I think that my position or my trade on Facebook uh, was the safest and most conservative trade? Definitely not. I said that in that video, right? That with the $40, uh, $45,000 upside with investing with $150,000, to risk $5,000, I saw that to be a nine to one ratio. I saw the odds to be worth it, right? Uh, I saw the risk to reward ratio to be worth it. Um, Facebook sold off a little bit more than I wanted it to. And just like anything, I have to hold myself accountable no matter how much I do believe Facebook is going to recover. The reason I'm not freaking out, the reason I'm just not super devastated is Facebook is going to be a stock that I'm going to invest in in the future. And, and this is the way that I, you know, I'm not, I'm not buying a crappy stock. I'm not buying a penny stock. I'm not buying a hyped up stock. I'm buying Facebook, literally one of the most valuable companies that's publicly traded. And I decided to buy it when it was considered to be cheap based off of previous levels. I know that I'm going to buy it again. This time, I'm just going to wait for confirmation. I took the risk, right? Just like I said in my previous video, I decided to buy before confirmation which comes at a greater form of risk. If it would have recovered, I would have made a little bit more money. But just like how things played out, it didn't recover, it sold off. So there, therefore, there's consequences to taking on a riskier trade and managing my risk at $5,000 of a loss is one of those consequences, but I'm okay with that. And the reason why is as Facebook, if it continues to sell off, even with the price point that it's at right now, if it were to recover just to $340, not all time highs, but $340, this thing offers over 50% ROI. So if you do very simple math, right? Even with just $100,000 invested, I can wait for the break above the EMA line. I can wait for confirmation. I can approach this in a much more conservative way. So if I'm super devastated about my $5,000 loss, one thing I always put into perspective is I can always buy back in again. I can always get back in and I would be excited to. I don't need to get back in at the first sign of confirmation. It's not about that. I've been in this game enough that it's not that trading becomes any less scary. You just become more comfortable being scared. And I think that's one of the beautiful things about the market is that it's always challenging. It doesn't matter how much you made last year, last month or last week. Every day presents new challenges and also presents new opportunities. It is our job to take advantage of those opportunities, but understand that some come at a greater form of risk. 
Our job is to simply manage and mitigate that risk. I'm excited to follow up. And when Facebook begins to indicate signs of recovery, uh, even if it if I wait for the break below the EMA line at 262, we're at 224 right now. Even with where we're at right now, uh, we're at 262. If you do very simple math, right? I still have 30% upside. My $5,000 loss is only temporary, just like Facebook's pullback. I could have bought the dip on Facebook and just held 100%. But with how things are looking, I think it can possibly dip a little bit more. So I just don't want to put myself in an uncomfortable situation. My intention was to manage my risk. And that's why I wanted to follow through with that proper execution. I don't ever want to intend to do something and then change my plan when things don't go according to plan. It's one of the very common mistakes that beginner traders uh, tend to make. So I wanted to hold myself accountable, um, closed out my position on Facebook, and we're just going to have to follow up and see how the market continues to trade. If Facebook begins to recover, great. I have no hard feelings against it. I would love to average up into it when it begins to present indication of an uptrend. Until then, I'll allow it to bleed. I'll allow it to sell off. And the cheaper it gets, the better it is for me. And I think that's a great perspective for how things are going right now not being afraid to take advantage of opportunity, but also not being afraid and being selective. So if you guys have any questions, again, I do offer a free Discord group, and that's that first link down below. If you're an absolute beginner, if you've ever wanted to get started, please feel free to message me via Discord, and that's that first link in the description. If you'd like to see me trade as soon as tomorrow at Market Open, click the second link down below. And friendly reminder, we are giving away a custom Digital Storm PC plus $1,000 cash to one lucky entry at shoptechbuds.com. It's the fourth link down below, and it's as easy as $1 spent equals five automatic entries. So you can buy anything on the site from a Wall Street hoodie, some mouse pads for your trading setup, some aluminum art, anything from a flag, again, more apparel, and as well as a simple trading journal. Friendly reminder, it only takes one lucky entry to be our giveaway winner for February. So again, if you want to enter, click the fourth link down below, buy anything, and you will automatically get entered towards our giveaway. I'll see you if you're part of Learn Plan Profit tomorrow at Market Open for my live trading session. And if you want to join us, click that second link down below. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.